Good morning, Wednesday morning, heading now to Tel Aviv for some really, really exciting meetings. Here we go. to Tel Aviv. It was a bit tight, so parked in a lot. I wasn't gonna keep circling. First meetings in 15 minutes, and um, I hate coming late, so there's that. And um, I'm gonna have a nice break in between my first and my second meeting, which works out well because I have not written an ink article in a while. Uh, it was time, so I'm gonna use that time to, to write that article, and then after that, back to back. It is beautiful here in Tel Aviv today. Beautiful. And guess where I am? The beautiful Serona. Good morning from Biga in Serona, my office. I just had a delicious breakfast. And as you know, as I always say, I love to be the dumbest one around the table, let alone the less good looking one. And this man checks both boxes. Who are you? What's your name? Hi, I'm Philip Libman. I'm the CEO of Access for Life. Accessforlife.com. Yes. Correct? Dot biz. Dot biz. Dot biz. Okay. Yes. All right. So before we talk about Access for Life, who is Philip? What are you, what's your story? What's your background? Give me like your quick elevator pitch. I've been in uh, technology for over 40 years. I've been in healthcare technology for over 27 years. Um, I'm managing now my second startup in the area of medical devices. Um, and I, uh, as a hobby, I teach medical informatics at Ariel University and at Paris and Rehoboth. I think so, the, the list of things you don't do might be shorter. Yes, I'm Baruch Hashem keeping very busy. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to vent for a second, if I may okay. rent. You know, how do you say VC in Hebrew? Karen Hon Sikun. Okay, so the Sikun part, Karen Hon Sikun means like a fund, fund. has capital and is willing to take a risk. risk. Right. That part of the Sikun is a little bit missing in Israel. That's right. Right, because these VCs, they're like, all right, you know, someone else will lead or come back with a hundred million dollars ARR. But like, there's a chicken and egg. I need money to build the product, especially in the healthcare space, because I got to go to market. I mean. Yes, especially hardware. That's right. right? Exactly. So you need significant capital. And unfortunately, you're, you're hitting that brick wall that many have hit before you, which is come back to me when there's no risk. But it's your job as an investor to take risk. I mean, there's a reason it's high reward. But anyway, that's my morning rant for you. Okay, so tell me about Access for Life. What is it? Access for Life has solved the problem of repetitive vascular access to the veins for the dialysis patients. Wait. If I may, let me just let me just dumb this down for us okay. normal people. Right. Uh, dialysis, right? That's kidney failure. Yeah, right? so your kidneys don't work, and right. you have to have your blood cleansed three times a week. Hey, just to again dumb it down, because I I don't know very much about this, thank God. But your kidney basically is responsible for taking out the waste from your body, the, and obviously then you go to the bathroom. The kidney has many many functions, and one of the major functions is that it cleanses the blood. Right. Okay. It takes now, out all the waste material. Okay. And then because the blood the blood is then filled filtered, goes back into the circulatory system with clean blood. Okay, so now imagine if your kidney is not working, your body fills up with poison basically, exactly. right? Exactly. And so you need dialysis. Right. So dialysis, um, again, anybody who knows anyone who's gone through dialysis, I don't know if this, if you if you think this is an accurate comparison, but the way I see it, right. it's very comparable to chemotherapy in terms of the damage, damage it does to your body. Is that not an accurate? Dialysis can keep you alive for a certain number of years until either you get a kidney transplant, okay, which very unfortunately very few people get, right. okay. But it's also very hard on the body. It's very very hard. Right, on that's the body. what I mean. The average life expectancy of a person on dialysis is six years. Okay, so so that's that's okay. one. Two, at the end of the day, you need access to the person's blood. Now right. that means needle, needle, needle into your veins. Now, right. this is a, a you know this is a problem I would say with anything to do with putting needles into your veins because you got to find the vein and then when you put it in twice it, it destroys the veins and exactly. so that is what you're here to solve right? exactly okay exactly. So tell me about that our veins aren't made to be cannulated punctured okay right. in medical terms three right. times a week right. dialysis patients get two needles three times a week that's six needles a week because you have to have blood in okay and blood out blood out to the dialyzer machine that cleanses the blood and then the clean blood has to come in at a very very high rate right. in order for it to be pushed in the circulatory system okay, so what, this, is, what is this this damages the veins. So what we have patented is a under the skin implant made of titanium, okay, that has a one-way collinear oh, valve. It's wait, very, I just, very I just, small. I just want to point something out. Yeah. I'm sorry for interrupting you. I just want to point something out. This is what excites me. You get excited about this stuff. This is what excites me. This little thing, I'm going to put it in front of the lens and watch the autofocus, okay? Right. See, now I'm in focus and you're in focus. Watch right. what happens. I put this in front of the lens. Watch this. 
look how we're out of focus and this is in focus. Right. Isn't that cool? I love that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a geek. Okay, anyway, sorry. Go on. Okay, so what we have developed is a under the skin device, okay, right. that eliminates the damage to the vascular system, to the blood, to the veins, okay? Because this is a permanent implant, it's attached on top of the ah. fistula, which is the access point and comes right up to the skin. Wow. So it's under the skin, and it, because it comes under the skin, whoever does the puncturing, the nurse or the patient themselves, right. hopefully, right. Or, a, or a technician in the United States, do put okay, it in puts wow. it in there, you know exactly where to go. You don't wow. have to look for a vein. That's you don't have to know the distance. It goes straight out from the bottom, hitting wow. the same point. The, the collinear valve raises up, Okay, and once I take it out, as you can see, it just plops right down. Amazing, I got okay? it. Okay, I'm sold. All right. I have a question for you, though. Yes. And it has sensors to guide to guide the needle, so that it tells the person who's cannulating, who's puncturing the skin, where the needle is. Right. And we gather data on the dialysis process to warn if there is a narrowing, what's called the stenosis of the veins, because that's what happens to dialysis patients over time. Okay, so a few things. First of all, you're the CEO of the company, correct? I am. How much money have you raised to date if you're, if you're allowed to? You I'm allowed to say over a million dollars. Okay, well that sounds, might sound like, you know, to a person watching or to me like yeah. a lot of money, but when you're building something like this, that's right. not even money. Now let me ask you a question, and I'm sure you've thought about this. I would imagine, like you said, the biggest resistance to invest in a company like this is the following. It's hardware. It's medical, so there's long, you know, term, long time to market. Right. And how big is the dialysis market? A few million people. Four million people Four million worldwide people. today. Let me ask you a question. Why not use this technology for anyone who needs to access veins? Excellent question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the truth is, yes, we've spoken to the head of oncology at Chiba Medical Center. Okay. Because we want to replace the chemo port. Okay. Right. Right. We've spoken to people who who have who are taking blood thinners okay and need to get their blood checked every day right okay the reason that we're in dialysis is that there is no solution in the dialysis market and the people in oncology say we have a current such, such solution yours might be better prove yourself first of all in dialysis and then come to us i'm not talking about chemo yeah. i'm literally talking about even person gets an uh, what's it called uh, an iv not the, I, I, what's it called? You put in water. The person's dehydrated. What do you right. Put in, okay. You're getting a saline solution in order. Uh, you're, you're, you're putting in, 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 yeah, IV. Yeah, IV. Inter intravenous. A anybody that's putting a needle in their veins, they could use this, no? Right. Well, no. The advantage of this is for people who go under repetitive vascular access. <laughs> the advantage is if you're doing it on a regular basis, right. we then preserve your veins. Because if you're doing it once in a blue moon, then you don't need this device because Although, they'll, stick, they'll stick you. Well, that's true. Okay? Right. But, but here's the thing, right? Yeah. Like everyone's seen that situation where they're Nurse is trying to find your thing. And exactly. They're like poking you and poking you. And, 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 it's right. crazy. Crazy. So, I, okay. but, what you're, but here, what you're, I mean, this is not something you would put on a normal person's whatever. It's only a person who gets repetitive. Repe re people who are repetitively. Right. A puncture, okay. cannulated, right. would definitely need this device. Dialysis does not have a solution. The patients there suffer greatly. Got it. Nephrologists and vascular surgeons are very enthusiastic about what we're doing right. because there is no other solution. The way they're doing it has been the way they've been doing it now for 60 years. Got it. Okay, so you have some pilots running with some medical centers? We, we, we've we done three rounds of animal trials at GL Pigs and Asafa Rofe, okay? Okay. And we're now getting the funding in order so that we can do the next final round of animal trials before we go to clinical sites and doing it first in human and yes we have many we have several hospitals around the world who are just waiting okay in order to get authorization to do first in human how much are you raising we're now raising um right first round is a million and a half dollars okay in order to complete the animal trials and then we'll need another three and a half million in order to complete human trials so a total of five million dollars let me ask you a question Maybe I'm missing something. Why raise a million and a half dollars and then go raise another three and a half million dollars? Is it because of the market? Because of the market and because of because of what we've encountered in terms of hesitancy. Okay. So we're doing essence in two tranches. Okay, Got a it. million and a half and then another three and a okay. half million. And are you looking to raise from institutionals, from angels, or does it not matter? You know, it doesn't matter. It's okay, not. generally it, for those for those sums, it's usually institutions or VCs. Got it. Okay, for angels, it's a little bit high. Okay, so if someone's watching this and they potentially want to hear more about the round, you know, the valuation, the terms, whatever. Philip thought. Libman at accessforlife.biz, um, especially if somebody knows someone who is on dialysis and understands their suffering and can realize that we can improve greatly the quality of life for the patients and we can enable home hemodialysis, which is really the next stage the because COVID-19 showed that it's much safer to do dialysis at home, okay, but patients are afraid of needles, okay, they're afraid of cannulating themselves. We have removed the fear factor. Okay, okay got it, got it. So. Uh, Philip with one L? One L. So it's P H I L I P. Dot. Libman L I B B as in Bob M A N. Two B's? One B. Okay, L I B M -A, a N. Libman, six letters. All right. Joseph, put his email right here, right there. Folks, 
if you're interested in reaching out, hit him up because to me this sounds like one of those companies that like any VC that says no now is gonna look back and be like, we missed that deal. Because this is, this is life changing, it's life saving and it's world changing. So hit him up, sounds great. Anything I can do to help, you know where to find me. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, and good luck. I'll, you know, we'll take it offline, but I'm, I'm sure I can make some introductions to some investors because this sounds like an amazing, you know, listen, it's always a high risk, right? The, the tech world, so, but you, the, the goal is to kind of mitigate, to try to lower that risk and see, you know, the more a founder comes to an investor with leverage, and I have traction, I have, you know, deep, deep tech, whatever it is, right. obviously the lower the risk. And you guys have built this thing, it's working. You know, you've done trials, it's working. So it seems to me that it's, this is a no brainer for an investor to put in, you know, a million and a half or even three and a half million dollars. So I hope that happens soon. I'll do my best to, to, to help. We'll be in touch, man. Thank you very much. Have Thank a very so happy much. and healthy new year. It's true. Natova. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, second interview of many today, by the way. It's going to be a crazy, crazy day. But this guy is the biggest feat I've ever seen in my life. He sits down at the table. I'm like, what the heck size shoe do you wear? 15? 15? Close, close. It's 13, but I'm on my, on my way. Okay. On good days, it can be I'm not 14. making any jokes about big feet. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> there are children watching people. Come on. Look at my hand. Yeah, you okay. know what they say, but yeah. Show we'll leave it to show another. Hand, show me your hand. Oh, my Lord. Okay. All right. So, more impressive than his hand. More impressive than his foot size is his career, okay? <laughs> this guy that's sitting next to me right now led sales at Red Bull. Marketing, marketing at Philip Morris? It was national sales manager. Ma sales Morris. manager of Philip Morris as in Marlboro. Where else? Market manager of Mars, Mars Chocolate and Pet Foods. Right, Chaim. The Chaim, the Chaim. I love it. Uh, it's healthy, it should be healthy, lots of sugar. Oh, wow. Uh, general manager at uh, Get the establishment get, right, ten get, years ago. Get Taxi is in, and, you know, and like general Uber manager Israel. at uh, Yango Taxi. Yeah, the index Yango Taxi. So, so consumer yeah, goods, so like, tech. When I ask you, like services. When I ask you, like what you've done for a living, I think it would be quicker if you just say what you haven't done. <laughs> like, holy moly! Okay, Mo so more than four kids because uh, yeah, this okay. is what I have up to up till now. So, I think it's fair to say there are probably less than ten people in this entire country that have the level of experience that you have present on the house. You. Have you let them know you're leaving the company? Like, is this yeah, 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 this is, this is okay. publicly, yeah. So you're you're leaving this company, y y Yang Yango, 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 Taxi. Yango Taxi, and now you're thinking what to do next, but to be clear, like, again, a guy with this kind of experience, it's not a question of, you know, what can you do, it's a question of what you want to do. Um, and so, what is the dream? What's the end game? What, what do you want to accomplish on this planet? Well, since I'm very good at project management and leading changes, I would love to take something from scratch and take it from A to Z, okay, complete cycle, but make a change. A larger company, not a startup. Yeah, yeah I'm not, like uh, big corporates, global accounts. So it's interesting because you meet people. Right. You, you have this combination of like, on the one hand, operations, like you get stuff done, and then you're very good with people. It's a weird, it's a strange I love, combination. Yeah, I, lo I love I love working with people. I think all the success that I had throughout the years was because of great uh, talents that was work that were working with me. And you know, at the end, it's not the one man show. You cannot finish the play and stand on the front of the stage. Right. But all the casualties are behind you, and all everybody, everybody's clapping hands. It's right. not like a one man show. Okay. So so let's do this. Very simple. Now you guys understand what this guy is. I mean, to say you're a superstar, it's an understatement. If somebody wants to reach out to you, I'd say. You know, Yossi Matias, you know that is? Yossi Matias? I've heard the name. Professor Yossi Matias, I should say, started Google Israel. I'm just saying as an example, if, you know, general manager of Microsoft Israel, whatever company is watching this, and they are, what do you want to tell them? Why should they hire you and how do they contact you? A passionate, Give me your elevator pitch. Yeah, a, a passionate, high skill, high communication skills, high project management skills. Attention to detail. Corporates. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Attention to, a very analytical, very strategic thinking orientation, planning, as you say, bottom to, uh, to, to the details, and uh, people orientation, the okay. same as the results orientation. Somebody wants to hit you up, how do they reach out? How do they contact you? On LinkedIn, on LinkedIn they can find me, Moti Hasfari, M-O-T-T-I, Hasfari, H-A-S-F-A-R-I. Joseph, um, my editor, is gonna put your name right there. Folks, hit him up. I mean, I'll just say this. If I could afford you, I'd hire you right now. That's all I'm saying, man. Anyway, dude, fantastic to meet you. If I could be helpful with anything, you know where to find me. Hillel, highly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dude, I feel like a midget next to you, man. Holy moly. Thanks for the vlog. Okay, a little personal story for your uh, listening pleasure. So I moved to Israel 30 years ago. I came in the summer before my parents came. So I had a summer where I was here as a 15-year-old kid without my parents. 
and I lived at this boy's house. When I say boy, the reason I'm calling him a boy and not a man is because he was a boy back then. Should I tell the story? Go ahead. When he was a little kid, this is like a family thing now. It's like, a, this is like an inside joke. I don't know why I remember this, because I don't remember my kids' names or what happened yesterday, but somehow I remember this guy <laughs> in his underwear on, su on Sukkot, <laughs> in the sukkah, that's the hut that we sit in on the holiday of Sukkot, dancing on the table singing La Bamba. Why I remember that, I don't know. There's gotta be some uh, psychological whatever there. Anyway, <laughs> this is Eli Schachter. Uh, like I said, I lived in his house and his family and my family are closest friends. Uh, close with his sister, Gila Schachter, and my brother and his brother-in-law and sister are best friends, Tali Schachter and Ari Goldberg from our crowd. Anyway, it's just, you know, family. So, a couple of weeks ago, it was a couple of months ago maybe, he's just like walking by Big Up, walking by my office, and of course I went to say hello, and I don't remember how it came up. But I, did I bring it? I just got my teeth straightened, maybe I brought it up to you? I don't remember. I brought up something about teeth, and he's like, oh, my wife's a dentist. I'm like, cool, I want to get my teeth whitened. He's like, let's do it. So I went last week, last week? Last week, uh, yeah. I got my teeth whitened by his wife's uh, dental practice here in Tel Aviv, literally five minutes from Sarona. How do they look? How do they look? All right. <laughs> Tell me about you, man. Tell me about your wife. Talk to me. Give me the, give me the spiel. Okay. Who are um, you? What's your name? My name is Eli Schachter. How old are you now, by the way? 36, I think. No, I'm just... <laughs> Dude, I just got to check myself into an old age home and just call it a day. <laughs> no, no, Two no. kids? Two kids. Two kids. It's it is it really is genuinely crazy to me that you at 36 you said 36 that's just wild okay fine so you're 36 <laughs> years old you live in Batyam now we live in Batyam I think you're the only person who lives in Batyam oh yeah what like what's you're, Batyam like it's good you like it it's amazing it's on, on the beach it's on the beach awesome. it's three stations from Tel Aviv any other city it would be still zone one right right okay um, yeah so what do you do with your life I own besides be dashingly handsome yes <laughs> thank you thank you um I own uh, and manage a dental clinic. My wife is an orthodontist and um, we offer wide range of dental and medical aesthetic services. So it is fair to say that the apple didn't f fall too far from the tree. Your dad, like, he didn't do dental, but he did eyes, so life. Correct. Now he's a business, real estate, <laughs> tech, I don't even know how to explain. Now, for the past 15 years. And, and former basketball player, dad, your dad is the man, Robles. but your mom is even more the man. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so, so I, oh, so you, you are officially like business partners with your wife? I, yeah. I, mean, I didn't realize that. I, she wanted to go work as a, you know, a, with steady income, right. maybe a kupat or right. someone else's practice. Right. I said, no way, you're way too gifted and talented. Cool. And uh, let's take this to the next step. So before you tell me about the practice, tell me about your wife. My wife is... Before you tell me about your wife, I walked in to get my teeth whitened and I start talking to her in Hebrew. And then I'm like, wait a second, you know, she's Ellie's wife. You guys talk to her in English. And it turns out she's not a Hebrew, doesn't speak Hebrew. She's from... Portugal. Portugal. Like, right. I, like that's random. You met in Israel. We met in Israel. How long have you been married? 2019, so four, four years. years. Four you know, my, you know my dad's joke? You know my dad's joke about this? Which one? My dad says, we've been married for... 50 years, but it feels like two days. Exactly. Yom Kippur and Tisha B'Av. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that? I know that. And then one. my uncle said to me, you shouldn't make fun of marriage. It's a beautiful institution. Assuming you want to live in an institution. <laughs> <laughs> I like Marriage that. jokes. Okay, fine. So you've been married Great. for four years, two kids, and your wife's a dentist. Uh, an orthodontist. Orthodontist. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. Uh, not recognized in Israel as an orthodontist because that in Israel, you have to do a test in Hebrew. Oh. She doesn't speak Hebrew. <laughs> and no, but if you're if you're not recognized as an orthodontist in Hebrew and you're an orthodontist coming from out of Israel, right. so uh, you probably don't know Hebrew. Right, right. And, and there's no, they don't do it in English. They don't do it in English. And, oh, God. And, and you need to do another two two years of study. Okay. So, so she's not licensed here? She's not licensed as an orthodontist. She's licensed as a dentist. Got it, got Because it. she has an, had enough years of experience that she didn't need to do got the it. tests in Israel. Got it. Okay, so what's the name of the practice? The name of the practice is Dr. Elia Schechter. Um, as you said, we're located right next to Sarona. Like um, literally five minutes from here. Yeah. Do you have a website? Yes, we What's do. Website? Uh, Dr. Elia Oh boy, then we're going to have to spell that. Joseph, put it right here, but E L I A? E L I A S C H E C E C. T E R. One day I'll get it right. You know, there are certain yeah, things. Th doctor, there are certain exactly. things. There are certain things, just like these words, <laughs> that you always spell wrong. Like yeah. entrepreneur. <laughs> I've written it enough times, and now I make, like I write, but every time I write your last name, I make a mistake. I know, so yummy. Every time I write yummy, I also spell it wrong. It's like unbelievable. That's funny. I can never get it right. One day I'll get it right. I only know you for 40 years. Okay, so uh, what, what are the, so tell me what you guys offer. I, need, I do the teeth writing. That's one. What else? Correct. Um, so our, our main product that we offer is clear aligner teeth straightening uh, via Invisalign. Um, we also do other brackets, but it's mainly with Invisalign, and it's completely clear, unnoticeable. Right. It works. It works even much better than the traditional braces. 
no pain, less time. I mean, it's a little pressure. No? Uh, just at the beginning. Really? Just at the beginning, at I the did, first few. I, I, did a, I did Spark. You know Spark? Yeah. It was a lot of pressure. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of pressure. For, yeah. for, at I mean, all I, the I, liners my teeth were, my or teeth just were at the like, beginning? My teeth needed a lot of work. So every time I would switch, right. every couple of weeks, it would be pressure for uh, the first day. For the first day. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, now, it's, now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there, I just see how white right. they are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so you do teeth whitening, you do teeth we, straightening, what else? We do teeth whitening, teeth straightening, um, any uh, the ordinary dental checkups, dental cleaning, um, and the, we do have as well, uh, which Elia performs, uh, is all the medical injections, the medical facial aesthetics. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Like Botox and all that jazz? We do Botox, wow. we do fillers, we do skin booster, wow. peels. That's yeah. awesome. That is nothing to do with orthodontics. That's nothing to do with dentists. Um, so, so that's a funny thing. Um, it, it doesn't have to do with orthodontics, but because that she studied orthodontics, she, she knows the anatomy of the face. Right. And a lot of people, if they are doing those invasive uh, treatments, so they want it done by someone that does understand it as a whole. I'm going to put you on the spot now. Sure. And if the answer is no to the following question, I'll have my editor edit this part out. <laughs> Sounds good. If someone reaches out to you from this episode, can you give them a 10% discount? Absolutely. We didn't discuss this before, so I just totally to put them on the spot. Absolutely. If, if you are watching this and you want to get any of these things done, Invisalign, you know, straightening your teeth, uh, whitening your teeth, Botox, any of these things, you see this vlog, you hit up Ellie, you go to the website, can they sign up, can they contact you through the website? Absolutely, and say that they that they saw, that they saw got it from this video. Is there a contact on the website though? Yeah. Okay, so contact through the website. Contact Again, Joseph's going to put the website in the bottom here. Contact them, say, just literally write Hillel's vlog, so they know it's from here, 10% discount. I just like offered that without even asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works Absolutely, for me. Absolutely, definitely. I love it, dude. Here's the thing, man. I didn't know that you did all this stuff, so I think I'm going to start coming to you guys for cleaning because I hate, first of all, let me, just, let me just say one thing, by the way. One of the reasons that I love what I do is because when I meet startups, they're happy to see me because I'm helping them. The one reason I could never be a dentist is because when I go into the dentist, I'm like, no, I don't want to see you. Like, who likes their dentist, right? It's like one of those things, no one likes their dentist. So your wife's nice, maybe I like her more than my dentist, but I think I'm gonna come to you guys for cleaning, no you joke. Should come, you should come for cleaning. Anyway, dude, I, I am, as we say in Yiddish, I'm shepping nachas. You know what that means, shepping nachas? Shepping nachas means getting, pleasure's not the right word, um, pride. Although pride is, again, misused in today's society, but I'll leave that alone. Uh, but anyway, no, it's, it's beautiful to see, and uh, you know, you, uh, you've, you've made a career. It's pretty awesome. Bezat Hashem. I mean, it, it's, it's going and, go, and going, and we're always happy and, to help. And if the dentist thing doesn't work out, you could always go do modeling. <laughs> just saying. All right, dude. Well, we like, I'm just going to say one last thing. Could say two last things. Um, what Elia and I like the most about our work is, first of all, that we don't see it as work, because we see a transformation that people go through, whether Love it's it. getting from yellow teeth to white teeth, from a not straight smile to a straight smile, it goes into the deeper levels of self-confidence. Love and it. We just like helping love out. Love that, love that. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say I'm gonna come to you guys for cleaning, but my question is, when is someone going to invent a teeth whitening like solution that doesn't get affected by coffee and is just for life? Someone's gonna invent that one day. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like we have self-driving cars and autonomous drones and AI and machine learning. We sh should be able to whiten teeth forever. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, get on that. All right, dude, this is fun. Thank I love you hanging so out with you. Please Thank give you. a hug and kiss to your parents and to Absolutely. your whole fam. And uh, we, should, we should do this more often. So you're always around here, right? You're yeah, here, we're right so. here. Our clinic right. is right here. here. Thanks, good. Great to see you as always. You too, Ellen. Holy moly, what a day. I am wiped. Going home now for like four more Zooms. Calling it a day. See you tomorrow.